It's guys! Yoga no no! Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Fan Mail Mondays, where today I have way more than I know what to do with. This might be a two-parter deal, because there's there's just so much stuff. This is by far, I mean, and I mean this time for real, by far, by a lot, the biggest fan mail opening we have had to date. This is 23 things I counted. There's 23 things to open, so this might be a two-part deal. I am just overwhelmed. I have the best fans on the planet. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel, for keeping the series going. I love this. I love interacting with you guys and everything. This is just so much fun every single Monday. I'm so I'm just so happy right now. Thank you all for the early Christmas present and everything. Just uh, just having all this. Like I don't care about anything. I don't care about you know getting stuff. I just I just care about interacting with you guys. This is just so much fun to you know to open everything and just be able to sign everything for you guys and all that. It's it's very very humbling. Thank you all very 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 much. I truly truly appreciate it. You will never know how much I really appreciate this. This this is just amazing. But for the normal spiel, if you want to send me your fan mail. The P.O. Box is 1391 Owasso, Oklahoma 7, uh, ooh, 74055 and if you want cards signed and sent back to you then be sure to stamp and address an envelope in with your cards that you send so I have something to send them back in. Now with all that said though, with all that said, thank you all so so much again. I'm gonna get started with opening all this. This might be a two part deal depending on what I get and how long this takes and everything so let's go ahead and get started. Alright so let's open up this first letter and see what we have here. So ooh, that was an address. I already have to edit. God Dang it, I already have to edit out addresses. That's not a good start. So I'm just kidding, I don't care. This is insane. This is just so much fun already. Dear Yugi Noto, my name is Andro Nikos. Andro Nikos, and I am from Greece. I started playing the game since Hidden Arsenal 7. I remember pulling Gym Knights from the packs. Now I am playing Yo Sinjus, Ancient Gears, and Super Heavy Samurai. Uh, uh, great and, and fun decks to play. Yeah, they are. One time I was playing Ancient Gear and my opponent was playing Dino Rabbit and I lost fast but my brother was playing a 60 card deck, you know that deck which every with everything inside. <laughs> he won he won the he won the opponent who was playing with trick the opponent was playing with trick stars. Uh, me and my brother send you some cards to sign. Greetings from Greece. Well thank you very, very much for the cards. I will definitely sign these. That's a cool story. Yeah, but like I know what you're talking about. <laughs> 60 cards and a 60 cards and like what were you playing Infernoids? Like, that's that 60 card deck? Like, with Grass? Or were you playing just, like, you know, that 60 card deck that everyone starts with where you just put in all your favorite cards? I don't know which deck you're talking about. But either way, dude, really, really good story. But yeah, dude, all these are now signed for you. Thank you so, so much for your mail. I was happy to sign them, and I'll be sure to get them right back to you. All right, and this letter is from a Chris Leary. Chris Leary. Let's see what he said. All right, read me. All right, so this is a return. Okay, so there's the return envelope, but there's some Something inside it. Oh no, wrapped up in it. Okay, so we have some cards there and nothing else in the return envelope. Awesome. So here's the return envelope and let's see what this says. Dear Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, I love your videos. I wanted to send some stuff to you. Stuff? Question mark? Cards. The ones in black you can keep. Oh, thank you very much. So black ones. Okay, so oh, let's turn these over. <laughs> I revealed one of them, but I didn't see the other one. All right, um, Yubel is fake, but that never stopped you. I've had my fun with him and thought you'd make another fake Yu-Gi-Oh! deck using him. I'd love to see another fake duel. That is on the to-do list. It really, really is, but my to-do list is like 100 miles long. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, the ones in red I'd like signed and sent back, please, will do. Uh, Majesty's Fiend, my first card ever, and Zaphion, my first Time Lord card. By the way, any uh, any tips for a deck with Time Lords? I actually don't. I, I've never really played Time Lords. I really, really haven't. I've just sided the, the one, like the blue one, like the really good one, because it's, it's really good. But um, anyways, uh, no matter how many times I built a deck around them, they always turn out too slow or get negated banished returned yeah that's pretty much what happens to any rogue deck i mean it's not just that deck it's just any deck i mean i mean there's always going to be decks that are better than others it's just how Yu-Gi-Oh goes i mixed them with light sworn kaiju even dark magician once what do you suggest i love to be able to use them again thanks for being you chris well chris i'm sorry that i can't really help you with time lords i really don't remember what they do i would have to read them because like i said i've only cited the blue one because you know the blue one's just a really really good card but um i 
like, ah, uh, let me think. I mean, from the top of my head, I can tell you this right now. It's really, really good to main deck a lot of hand traps right now. That is the meta. If you do have three Ash Blossoms, if you have Ghost Ogres, if you have Draw and Lock, Draw and Lock, I mean, just any good hand trap, I mean, would be fantastic right now because the meta right now, a lot of it is hand trap wars. It really, really is. I, I hope that that helps. I will definitely, uh, well, wait, I haven't even shown the cards yet. I was about to say I will definitely sign these and send them back, but I haven't even shown them yet. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed right now. All right, so Vindred Reorigin. Very nice, dude. That is a sick card. I like the way, I've always liked the way this card looked. It's like secret rare and it's just like really cool, like zombies coming out of the ground and stuff. It's really, really cool. But, and then uh, Pot of Desires. Yeah, no, that is a really cool fake U-Bell though. Wow, that's that's an awesome fake U-Bell. That is intense. U-Bell Reawakened Chaos. That is way cool. Oh, in the back of it, I mean, besides not having, you know, the, uh, the Konami and the Yu-Gi-Oh logos, um, is actually, that's actually pretty good. That's a really good looking fake on the front. Wow, it looks like an ultimate rare mixed with like an ultra or something. That is, that is way, way sick. And it's even got like the new foil, like, you know, uh, dark up here, like what the attribute is. Wow, that's, that's a, that's a really interesting fake. That's a really, really interesting fake. And Destrudo, the Lost Dragon. Yeah, that's, a, Destrudo is a really, really good card. And then these, oh, yes, dude, the Zapion. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about, the blue one, Zapion, the Time Lord, and Majesty's Fiend. I will definitely sign these for you. And dude, thank you so much for these. I actually do not own a Destrudo, believe it or not. I haven't pulled one yet. I just, just must be my luck or something. And that, it has the most interesting fake I have seen in a really, really long time. Time. Thank you so much for that. I will be sure to add that to the collection and whenever possible whenever whenever I get the time and get Ryan back over here and stuff I will definitely do another fake Yu-Gi-Oh card duel dude. Thank you so much I will be sure to sign these and get them right back to you. All right, so let's do a package next Let's do one of these next gosh. There's just so much stuff to open. I'm so I'm so overwhelmed today This is just this is amazing like I really really is like I'm overwhelmed But I'm, I, this is just so much fun so much fun. So this is fine to show this address This is my address that is fine so we have a return package not just a return envelope but a return package so that is it for that and let's see so these are all cards so let's push these out of here if I can all right so I got it all right so these say these say things on the back so sign 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 and keep gotcha 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 all right and let's see what this says see what this says thank you for labeling all that by the way that really helps a lot dear Yugi no no I'm sending you a few things labeled appropriately to help your collection perfect I also sent a few things to be signed in return my friend and I enjoy watching your videos particularly your skits I enjoy a handful a handful of your deck profiles although some of them I do think I do have some creative different differences with you on everyone everyone plays like their own stuff I mean everyone's decks are gonna be different and stuff I am a, a fellow a cyber dragon player and while I personally run a different style of deck I also use some of your text to help improve my performance I've enjoyed your evil swarm decks too and I can't wait for the next version once we get the link monster I am do that link monster I love it I love it like I can't wait to play that deck again as far as cyber dragons uh, go I personally recommend a different style I like using magnet reverse to double back my fusions and X's after I use them for the other side. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I've heard of that card. I've uh, I've found this the best way to run them since Link format began, and it means you don't need to run any Link monsters to take your monsters off field instead of focusing on better combos. My favorite is uh, by far making an Infinity stealing uh, stealing a monster, power bonding it for a rampage, and then a magnet reversing the Infinity back to steal another monster. I hope you enjoy the cards I sent over Solid Mercury. Well, yeah, dude, like that's. That's a pretty good suggestion. Like um, with Cyber Dragons, I, I have you know you, you've seen I have uh, two different variants of them. I have like the Ghost Seconds, you know, just classic Power Bond deck, you know, Power Bond OTK deck, and then like I have the Combo deck, which can go first or second because like I made that deck up. Me and Sam, you know, sat down at locals one day and we were, we made that deck up because uh, Cyber Dragons have always had the same problem, which is going first. So uh, we kind of just sat down and added you know all the best cards that we could think of. We we basically you know um, re rebuilt the deck from the ground up and what we came up with was like the rank five the brilliance build um that's you know that that's just what we came up with and uh, i've been you know messing with that ever since you know like trying to uh you know evolve it and stuff as the formats go but uh i haven't done a cyber dragon deck profile for the newest format just because i'm so far behind on everything uh, plus um i'm waiting on um cosmic compasses from somebody which which might be in this mail <laughs> so yeah that that, not that very well uh, might be uh, tomorrow's video the video after it just depends on you know what all happens and stuff um but yeah uh, definitely the 
Cyber Dragon deck update and stuff. Um, if you guys did not know, is is on the to-do list. It really, really is on the to-do list. Let's see what he sent me to sign, though. Oh, we don't know. These are all like, oh, these are super secret. These are super secret. Let's see all these cards he sent, though. So, oh, these are like mega secret. What? What? Okay. Okay. So he put them backwards and backwards on top of that. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is way intense. Like this just this is this is just building up tension now. <laughs> let's see. All right. So have all these out uh, now. Okay. So let's see what we have. Uh, perform, uh, perform age plush fire plush fire. And then we have oh so a playset a plush fire. Um, ex <laughs> expecto Pepe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, these are really cool. He like drew on like these plush fires. These are awesome. This is way way sick. Let's see what else we have here. So Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. Hey, so Cyber Dragon stuff. Very nice Rampage Dragon. Hey, Cyber Dragon. Ooh, guys, that is way sick. Uh, I need to be careful with that. This is a first dead, guys. This is a first dead cybernetic revolution. That wow, uh, that is crazy. Cybernetic Revolution First Ed Cyber Dragon Ultimate Rare. That is way, way cool, dude. Thank you for sending me that. That's way cool. Hey, more plush fires. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna like just have these like all up here for you guys to see. These are cool. These are way cool. Even more plush fires, dude. <laughs> it's like, are you just obsessed with plushes? That is way sick. Wow. Dude, he's like, uh, he's like custom arted like all these plush fires. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. That's way, way cool. Let's see what else. Uh, I was about to say more plush fires. No, we so we have some dragon uh, blaster, uh, dragon ruler blaster, uh, uh, ruler blaster, dragon ruler inferno. Is gonna not talk right now. And hey, evil swarm opion. All right, very, very cool. Let's get all of these signed. All right, I got all these signed for you. Let's see what you sent me to keep though. All right, so keep, ah, oh, this is super secret. Oh my gosh, super secret. Oh my gosh, Mystic Clowns. Oh no, no, no. Hey, but we have Petite Mods. Hey, speaking, speaking of which, let's get out there. Hey, we get to get out the Larvae Moth Binder. Let's go get it. All right, so real quick, before I get into these Mystic Clowns, let's go ahead and put these in here along with these. I don't know if uh, this, that's perfect timing because just like right before I started this or like, you know, like when I got back from like, you know, Louisiana, Texas, all that, I was going through cards and I found these and I don't know if I forgot the forgot to put them in the binder at some point or if I just missed them, you know, when I was going through my stuff. But either way, uh, we have these plus what he just sent me to add to this. It's getting so close to being done. I'm so happy. This is so epic and I'm gonna, I can't wait to like troll people with this and stuff. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's add all of these in here all right so here's where we are let's add another petite moth and then there we go all right so that is where we're at we have a few more pages to go and we're done <laughs> we're done there's that field center i love that field center so much and uh yeah so for the mystic cloud binder so for the mystic clown binder there it is all right so i've decided that this is going to be the troll binder for like everything i need to go through what you guys have sent me and like fill this up i'll be sure to do that after this video um probably like while i'm editing or something uh to fill this up with like all the mystic clowns that you guys have sent me along with um uh, someone sent me big eyes last week and stuff i've decided that this is going to go ahead and be just like the just like the troll binder like the whatever binder you know what i mean and if it, and if like you know just something is just you know <laughs> like you know just stands out above all else then we'll make like you know its own binder or whatever but either way guys i do have a video to make what we're gonna meme into existence next you know because we did meme larvae moth into existence you know larvae moth support into his existence that video should have been done last week but last week was just so busy it, uh, i was just so busy last week and then this weekend you know i went to louisiana and texas and all that stuff so this week hopefully this week even though i have a lot of stuff you know i'm working on like hopefully i can get that video out at, like at the very latest the week after this week uh, that will be out but dude thank you so so much for the cards i will be sure to get all of these back to you this next one is from marcus vaughn marcus vaughn let's see what this has in here this is like all taped together and stuff so give me a minute all right so i got this open we have our return envelope very very nice and then we have some cards but there's like nothing else oh wait 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 is this what i got the message about on facebook all right so guys there was no letter i checked the inside of this return envelope the original envelope and i checked my facebook page because sometimes you know people send me messages there and stuff and there was none of that from marcus except for you know asking for the name to put you know for the p.o box and and that was it so i got all these signed for you dude i'm gonna get them right back to you thank you so much next up we have something from a uh, harman uh soruko soruko let's see what this one says if i can get it open this one's like also like taped like extremely well <laughs> a minute all right so there is the return envelope and i think that is the letter 
and we have some cards. I think that's everything out of that. Yeah, that is everything out of that. Let's see what this says. Hello, I'm uh, uh, Perukia de Bolivar. Bolivar, Bolivar. I am sending you these uh, Oricas to sign and of course to return. They are hand painted, permed, and currently signed by Galactic God and soon you. I have also enclosed some eye candy for you to keep and use at your leisure. Keep up the good work. Um, P.S. Enjoy the uh, enjoy the wife waifu. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much. That's that's an honor to sign something Galactic God sign. Please read first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I, I always try to read the uh, the letters first if there is one. That's way way cool. So there's some Oracas to sign Galactic God. Hey. All right. Oh, and there's the waifu. <laughs> Hey, no, no, this is this. Is, I thought this was an Orica at first. No, this is a card fight Vanguard card. I was like, wait a minute. And then, no, this is the other Orica. Hey, hey, that's way cool. No, this is like a modified. Hey, this is a modified real card. So, uh, GG signed this too. Wow, that is way, way sick. Thirty King Rhino. These are both, yeah, just alternate. Like, they've drawn on the real cards. That is way, way cool. Let's sign this. I think, oh, yeah, it's so perfect. I always sign. Well, no, no, glad to God sign on my normal bottom left. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll sign, I'll sign this one bottom right. This one bottom left. And, uh, yeah, dude, thank you for the waifu, I guess. <laughs> like, this anime chick, thank, thank you so much. I'll be sure to get these right back to you. It was an honor to sign these. Next up, we have this package from Jacob Barnett. So, Jacob Barnett, let's see what this is, dude. This feels like it could be anything, really. <laughs> oh, so we have, oh my gosh, wait, this might be new, more fake cards. Jacob Barnett. Jacob Barnett, that, I think this is the fake card guy, right? I'm really, 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 really bad with names, but I think cut here to open. Oh, thank you, thank you. So that works, so cut here to open, gotcha. So let's try to cut here. If I can cut there, I promised I'll open this. <laughs> all right. So there's that, all right, so, and, okay, all right, this is, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the fake card guy. I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure this is the guy that, that usually sends me like the fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff. But thanks for all the great content on YouTube. Here's some gifts for you to keep. Well, thank you very, very much. Dude, this, this is this is crazy. The deck box and what, dude? Legendary Six Samurai, whoa. Like, is this like a whole six Sam? What? Whoa, dude. You sent me like a whole six Sam deck? What? This fell out of it. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is. Dude, what? I am overwhelmed right now. What? Dude. Just all this six Sam stuff? What? Dude, thank you so, so much. That is crazy. That is way crazy. I'll be sure to deck profile that. I have to. That, that, is, that is way sick. Dude, thank you so, so much. Six Sam's are pretty cool. I haven't played Six Sam's in a long time. I kind of dabbled with them like way back in the day. They weren't my favorite. They're not like, you know, not like Team Sam. Like, they're obviously Team Sam's favorite. But, oh, dude! <laughs> and he said Larvae Mods? Dude, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, man. This is a lot of Larvae Mods, too. Wow. Wow, dude, yes. Oh my gosh, dude, thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much. Let's get these added to the collection. We're getting so close to the end of this, guys. We're getting so close to the end. And this is a really cool deck that I get to profile now. Oh my gosh, dude, thank you so much. I'll have to like start practicing. I, I have to like relearn, I have to relearn the deck. Like that is way sick. Looking forward to doing that. Let's get all these added though real quick. All right, so this is how far we got. We got this page started and this page finished. And uh, so that's where we're at. That is exactly where we are. Thank you so much for sending all this once again, dude. I, I am speechless. I truly am speechless. Just, just, I appreciate it. Thank you so, so, so much. All right, next letter from Zachary Sipes. Zachary Sipes, let's see what he has to say. So, hey, so we have some cards. Xerian Universe design. Oh my gosh, because it is GOAT. It is GOAT. We have the return envelope. Very, very nice. Let's see what this says. All right, dear Yugi, no, no, yes, yes, you you may not know me from the three cards you signed. You get me through through stuff, and you are funny. But anyways, I'm going to keep this short. Please sign the other two in the red sleeve. Um, and keep the cards in the black sleeve. This is my thanks. And by the way, can you do uh, can you do you you Exerian Universe binder? <laughs> if not, then it's okay. I can add it to the troll binder from your um, from from your fan Zachary Sipes. P.S. I would like to double dick slap the like button, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, I can add the Exerian Universes to the troll binder. Definitely, dude. Thank you very very much. And uh, Dark Necrofear. Wow. 
Black, black magic ritual. So I'm gonna be signing. Uh, are these all Xerian universes in here? Oh no, they're not. Okay, so let's go ahead and sign these. And uh, where's that bat? There it is. All right. So like I said, I I have to fill up. I mean, I have all of you guys' cards. It's not like I throw you guys' stuff away or something. No, I keep everything you send me. I have to like you know fill all this up and stuff when I get the time. But dude, this is gonna be just like the hodgepodge, just whatever the hell troll binder. It's gonna be amazing. This is just this is just amazing. I have these added, dude. I'm going to sign these and send them back to you. Thank you so much for your mail. Alright, next up, someone sent me something from Collector's Cash, like the store. So, this is gonna be some cards, guys. This very well might be some more larvae moths or, or mystic clowns or something. So, prepare yourself. So, prepare yourself. And, yeah, but, <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, I think we're gonna get this might be the day today might be the day that we get this done between between all this stuff Like all all these pieces of mail guys. I think today might be the day that we complete the legendary binder Oh my gosh, the most broken binder in all of Yu-Gi-Oh history I think I think today's the day that it will be complete. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We have six more larvae bots Wow Wow guys guys. This is sick this is way sick. I can tell you right now, I, I'm pretty sure that, that today's the day we're gonna finish it because I'm not gonna lie. Chris Bushka, our, our Fan Mail Monday champ, he messaged me and he said that he's sending some stuff. So I have a feeling, you know what? You know what, let's go ahead and open Chris's stuff. Let's open Chris's stuff. I think I think today's the day. I think between what he sent, oh, I forgot one. How did I forget one? That is a sin, that is a sin. Oh my gosh, oh, I have to go repent now. Even Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus has to repent for that one. <laughs> but, but anyways, um, let's let's open up Chris's stuff next and Let's let's see what we can get. So these two for sure are from Chris Bushka. One of these is and one of these isn't, okay? Uh, because I talked to him. He said one was from Fabled Games or whatever, uh, Fables. And uh, he said he only or he, there should only be one from him from that place and there's two from that place for me. So I don't know. I, I don't know. Here's his actual letter though. And then I have a package that he sent me. This one even says from Bushka to the greatest fans in the world. So I think... I think this is it. I have a feeling. I have a really, really good feeling. Oh man, I'm actually really stoked. I'm, I'm like really, really excited. I think, I think this is it. I think this might be it. All right, so perfect. Oh my gosh, I freaking got that. I opened that, that up like a boss first try. Okay, and we have, yep, some cards. Okay, so here's his letter. Let's see what this says. Oh my gosh, dude, you're a legend. Oh, Chris Bushka, the legend, the fan mail Monday champ, the legend. All right, Merry Early Christmas from Christopher Bushka and everyone else apparently. Dude, thank you all, thank you all so much. Now I tried to get House of Champs to cover it, but no cigar. There was a major buyout this week. Larvae Moth was bought out from Troll the Toad and Toy Wiz, and about half of the TCG supply was bought out. I bought 100 Larvae Moths, and if everything goes well, they should all arrive this week. It's done. The Larvae Moth Binder, oh my gosh. Dude, you are a legend. You are a legend. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. If I calculated the binder correctly, we only need 98 more. This is from the time that the, he sent this. So the binder should be finished. This was my Christmas present from my aunt and I share it with the best fans on the planet. I was going to send pics of the buyouts, but like a dummy, I spilled water all over my laptop. Oh no, so that is gone. I probably should have saved the Christmas money for that. With Bushka buyouts number two, that makes over 150 larvae moths for the binder. As long as they all show up this week and I did my math correctly, there should be two extra. I was wondering if all 100 came in this week. If you could sign all, do I will sign all 100 for you and send them back to you, dude. You are amazing. You're the best. So if all 100 come come in, there should be the two extra plus three to make it being five coming back my way. If the binder gets filled properly, if the binder is not full yet, then I'll ask about it later. Sorry about the sloppy handwriting. It's too late, and I should be in bed anyway. Sincerely, Chris Bushka. Merry early Christmas. Be sure to uh, Candy Cane that like button and subscribe that's good that's good dude candy cane that like button and subscribe that's good dude oh my gosh this, this i think this is it guys what is this what is this oh my gosh the larvae yeah dude i'm gonna keep these you know i'm gonna keep these over here with your with your envelope and everything because i don't think that we're even gonna i don't think that these are gonna need to be added i think that i think that this right here i have a good feeling that this is gonna do it and if it doesn't i think that you know what between i bet you like other people sent larvae moths too and it's gonna be done. There it is. 
There's the larvae mods. Wow, dude, this is it. This I I, I think I, I think this is it, guys. I think this might be it. Look at all these. This 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 beautiful this beautiful stack of larvae mods. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get these put in here. Um, you guys are probably about to see a trans uh, transition right now, um, and I will show you how far we we get after all this. Plus, I still have these two to open. Oh my gosh, I just remembered. I still have these two to open. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, this is definitely it. This is definitely, definitely it. All right, so that definitely got us pretty far. So we got to the end of this page. You know, I'm just gonna keep this on the table because I have a feeling, I have a feeling, but between one of these, I'm pretty sure uh, this one's already kind of open, so let's open this one. One of these is gonna be Chris's, maybe both of them, um, at least one of them. Oh my gosh, yes, dude, yes. Uh, they, uh, make sure there's nothing else in that, yeah. So um, he said that there should only be one from like that gaming store, like I said, from the one store. Oh my gosh, dude, this is amazing. This is so amazing. I'm so excited. I'm almost shaking, I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited to have this done. I have such good plans for this thing. All right, so there's this. Oh, we're getting so close. We're getting so close. All right, so there's that. Maybe both of them. Maybe both of them are, are from him. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we have this. We have this. Oh, my gosh. So right here. Wow. Wow. I have to give huge shout-outs to Chris Bushka. A, a huge chunk, a huge, huge chunk is just from him, dude. A huge chunk of this binder is just from him and several other people that have helped this along the way. Dude, I think those were both from Chris Bushka. You are a legend. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, technically 15 because this is going to be in my larvae moth deck. <laughs> so 15, so 14 or 15 more and the binder is done. Wow, I am overwhelmed. I am just overwhelmed. Oh my gosh, let's keep on trucking, guys. Let's keep on trucking. It is not finished yet, but it will be. It will be. Let's go!